He didn't want to go out on such a night, but the stubborn curiosity that often led him into trouble propelled Jason into the abyss. The city's streets, slick with the remnants of a relentless downpour, reflected the eerie glow of streetlights that struggled to pierce the thick mist hanging in the air. It was the kind of night that whispered secrets, and Jason couldn't resist the allure of the unknown. His destination was a long-forgotten bookstore nestled in a forgotten corner of the city. The neon sign flickered with a dull, sputtering light, casting an ominous glow on the damp pavement below. As Jason pushed open the creaking door, a gust of wind swept through the narrow aisles, sending a shiver down his spine. The shelves were a chaotic maze of dusty tomes, their spines cracked and yellowed with age. Jason felt a peculiar energy emanating from the books, as if the stories within were alive and yearning to be told. The air hung heavy with the scent of mildew and decay, and an unsettling silence settled over the dimly lit space. He roamed the narrow corridors, his fingers tracing the spines of forgotten tales and ancient mysteries. In the dim light, the titles seemed to morph into cryptic messages, tempting him to unravel their secrets. As Jason delved deeper into the heart of the bookstore, he stumbled upon a section hidden in the shadows, a collection of obscure volumes that exuded an unsettling aura. One particular book, bound in cracked leather and adorned with strange symbols, drew him in like a moth to a flame. As he opened the cover, an ethereal whisper brushed against his ears, the words resonating with a power that transcended the boundaries of reality. The pages, seemingly written in a language long lost to time, told tales of forbidden knowledge and unspeakable horrors. In the midst of his enraptured reading, Jason became aware of a subtle shift in the air. The shadows deepened, and the walls of the bookstore seemed to close in on him. An ominous presence enveloped the room, and the once silent whispers grew into haunting echoes that reverberated through the ancient shelves. As he tried to tear his gaze from the malevolent text, the words on the pages twisted and contorted, forming a sinister narrative that transcended the boundaries of fiction. The tales within the book spoke of a malevolent force that lurked in the hidden corners of the city, feeding on the fears of those who dared to tread its haunted streets. Suddenly the flickering neon lights outside the bookstore dimmed, plunging the space into an impenetrable darkness. Jason's heart raced as he fumbled for his flashlight, its feeble beam revealing the spectral shapes of grotesque figures emerging from the shadows. The monstrous entities, born from the nightmares described in the cursed book, closed in on Jason with relentless determination. Panic gripped him, and he stumbled backward, desperate to escape the clutches of the malevolent force that now manifested in the physical realm. Through the oppressive darkness, Jason raced toward the exit the whispers now replaced by guttural growls and the echo of unseen footsteps. The bookstore seemed to resist his escape, its narrow corridors elongating and shifting like a labyrinth designed to ensnare the unwary. Just as he thought he would succumb to the encroaching darkness, Jason burst through the door and into the rain-soaked streets. The mist, now thicker than ever, obscured his vision, and the once familiar cityscape transformed into a nightmarish tableau of shifting shadows and ghostly apparitions. As Jason fled through the labyrinthine streets, the monstrous entities pursued him with an unnatural speed. Each corner turned revealed a new horror, and the city itself seemed to conspire against him. It was as if the malevolent force, unleashed by the forbidden knowledge within the cursed book, sought to claim his soul. In his desperate flight, Jason stumbled upon the entrance to the subway, the gaping maw of the tunnel inviting him into its depths. With no other option, he descended into the subterranean labyrinth, the monsters of the city's shadows, in relentless pursuit. The tunnels, now transformed into a nightmarish realm, echoed with the unearthly howls of the pursuing entities. Jason's footsteps reverberated through the cold, damp passages as he navigated the haunted underworld beneath the city. The darkness seemed alive, pulsating with a malevolent energy that threatened to consume him whole. As he ventured deeper into the abyss, Jason realized that the cursed book held the key to his salvation. He clutched the ancient tome in his trembling hands, the pages flickering with an otherworldly light. The words on the pages shifted once more, forming a desperate plea for release from the horrors that now hunted him. With a trembling voice, Jason recited the incantation, 
each word resonating with a power that transcended the boundaries of the mortal realm. The air itself seemed to tremble as the monstrous entities recoiled, their nightmarish forms dissipating like shadows in the morning light. The haunting whispers ceased, and the oppressive darkness lifted, revealing the abandoned subway tunnels bathed in an ethereal glow. Jason, breathless and battered, emerged from the subterranean depths, the cursed book now closed and lifeless in his hands. The rain continued to fall, washing away the remnants of the otherworldly terror that had gripped the city. Jason, forever changed by the horrors he had witnessed, stumbled back into the streets, the once-forgotten bookstore now nothing more than a dilapidated facade in the misty night. The monsters of the city's shadows had been banished, but the echoes of that fateful night lingered in Jason's mind. As he walked away from the cursed bookstore, he couldn't shake the feeling that the city held secrets far darker than any tale written in the pages of a forbidden book. The nightmares, once confined to the realm of fiction, now whispered in the shadows, a chilling reminder that some horrors were best left undisturbed.